Hey guys, and welcome back to MG Marine Tech. Today's video is going to be brought to you by Miller Tech Lithium Batteries, and you guessed it, today's video is going to be all about lithium batteries. With growing popularity in lithium batteries, I see a lot of questions being asked, such as how to size them for your needs, how to charge them, even if they're safe to use. But today's video, we're mainly going to be covering how to size a battery for your electronic needs. So let's dive in and show you how to do it. Before we jump into sizing a battery, we first have to understand how these batteries are rated. This Miller Tech battery is a 12 volt, 12 amp hour battery. But what is an amp hour? An amp hour is how lithium batteries are mostly rated. And an amp hour being the amount of current or amps that a battery can provide for one hour. So an example, this battery is 12 amp hour, meaning it, can, meaning it can supply 12 amps for one hour continuously before it is fully drained. But let's start the process on sizing a battery for your electronics needs. To do that, we're gonna need three simple things that are very, very basic. One, what is the purpose of the battery? Whether it is a starting battery, deep cycle battery, or a dual purpose battery. Two is going to be your amp load all of the electronics that are hooked up to that battery, how much current that they are going to draw. And three, the amount of time that you want that battery to last. So if you want a battery to last all day, 12 hours out on the water, whatever that may be. Now, if you know all three of those things, it's going to be very, very simple to calculate the size of the battery that you're going to need. But if you don't know those things, or you want some clarifications on how to figure out those things, stick around because we'll dive into that in just a second. But for those of you that know, Follow this ex next example to calculate your battery needs. For example, if you have an eight amp total load or draw, and you want that load or draw to last for 12 hours, then you're gonna take your eight amp draw, multiply it by your 12 hours, and you're gonna get 96 amp hours. So you will need a battery that has the capacity of at least 96 amp hours for that load to last 12 hours. Now you're not gonna find a 96 amp hour battery, so what you would do is buy the next best thing and you'd buy a 100 amp hour or larger battery, which would give you actually a little bit of headroom to last a little bit longer on the water. Now for question number one of what we need to know, do you need a starting battery, a deep cycle battery, or a dual purpose battery? Well, a starting battery is just how it sounds. These batteries are designed to start your engine and are able to provide high amps for short amounts of time whereas a deep cycle battery is meant to be deeply discharged and to provide low amounts of amps for longer periods of time. These batteries are good for supplying power to things such as your electronics, uh, bilge pumps, stereos, etc. Now a dual purpose battery is built to be able to do both of these. Now I know what you're thinking is great. If I'm gonna add lithium to it, I'm gonna have to keep my starting battery. I'm gonna have to have more batteries on board. Well, that's not the case because Miller Lithium now has starting lithium batteries. These batteries are able to provide up to 1,150 cold cranking amps, and they are rated at 65 amp hour and 100 amp hour. So these are a dual purpose battery. They will be able to both start your engine and run all of your electronics in one battery. So you're basically getting two batteries out of one. Now for question number two, here's where things are going to become a little bit more involved, but stick with me because I'm gonna to try to make it as simple as possible for you guys. The reason it's be going to be a little bit more involved is because you're going to have to find the specs on your unit or device to be able to find out how many amps or watts that these things draw. Now, if it's not labeled in amps, don't worry because I will show you how to take watts and convert it back into amps and uh, then you can use that to multiply it by the hours needed to figure out how big of a battery you need. But for my first example, we're going to be using the ever popular 93 UHD. Now this unit draws 18 watts. So how do we convert 18 watts into amps? Well, this is how. We use the equation P equals I times V, where P equals the watts, the watts drawn by the device and I equals the amps drawn by the device, and V equals the voltage that it's hooked to. So for this example, we're just gonna keep things simple and use a pure number of 12 for voltage. Now we take all those numbers and plug them into the equation. It's going to be P equals I times 12. So we have to solve for I. Now going back to high school algebra, we use I divided by 12 to get rid of the 12 on the one side of the equation, now we have to do it on the other side. 
So we'll have 18 divided by 12 equals I. So 18 divided by 12 gives you 1.5 equals I. So I equals 1.5 or our amp draw is 1.5. This unit at 12 volts will draw 1.5 amps. Once you find the amp draw for all of your connected devices individually, you can then add them all up and that's gonna give you your total amp draw. Now you can take that total amp draw and plug it into a super, super simple equation, which is total amp draw multiplied by the hours that you want that battery to last, and that's gonna give you your amp hours needed. So for those of you that don't want to do the math or may be confused by my math, don't worry because I'm gonna provide a link down below that will take you to a Garmin page and it will have all of the devices listed and what those devices draw at amp wise at different voltages. Now you may be confused of why they would draw different amperages at different voltages. Well, that's just a property of electricity. And that property is as voltage goes up, amps will go down. So just as a trolling motor setup, a 36 volt trolling motor setup will last longer than the same size 12 volt battery setup, just because a 36 volt trolling motor is going to draw less amps. But we're not gonna to get too carried away with that right now. And this video was just basically on sizing a lithium battery. All right, guys, I hope you liked my video on how to properly size a lithium battery for your electronics needs. And if you are in the market, please head over to Miller Tech Lithium Batteries. These guys are probably the best bang for the buck on the market today. Not only do they have some of the highest quality lithium out there, but they have the highest quality customer service out there. And I know from dealing with other battery companies that that is not what you're always going to get. But with these guys, it definitely is the case. I, I called over there and I got the owner on the phone and he walked me through any questions that I had and reassured me of everything that I needed to know. So again, head over to Miller Tech Lithium Batteries if you guys are looking for uh, your own lithiums or if you have any other questions that I may not have answered. And also subscribe and stay tuned for more lithium tech on MG Marine Tech.